Hey guys, welcome to Gen Z Codes. In this video, we're going to be creating a program using all that we've learned so far. So this project is going to calculate how many students can share three pizzas. So first, let's start, start off by actually creating the project and calling it pizzas. All right. So as I mentioned, this project is going to calculate how many students can share three pizzas. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to assign and declare variables, right? So first let's, assign, uh, let's declare those variables. The first variable that we have to declare is slices per student. What this is going to store is how many slices can each student have or how many slices is each student going to eat, right? So I'm going to say int slices per student. The next variable that I'm going to create is slices in pizza one. So it's going to be uh, int slices pizza one, right? This is how many slices of pizza, how many slices does pizza one have in total, right? How many slices does pizza one have? I'm going to do the same for slices pizza two. So how many slices does pizza two have? and int slices pizza three. So how many slices does pizza three have, right? Now the next three variables that I am going to create are students one, students two, and students three. Now these are not gonna be variables that we actually assign a known value to. Instead, we're gonna use different arithmetic operators to actually find what that value is. So it's gonna be called int uh, students one, students two and students three. All right, so what the students one, students two and students three is, it's basically students one is how many students can actually have pizza one. How many students can have students, uh, can, how many students can have pizza two is students two and how many students can have pizza three is students three. All right, so let's start off by actually doing the rest of the coding now. So let's assign values to the first four variables now. So slices per student is, let's say about three, right? Each student eats about three slices. Then slices pizza one, so I'm just making up values now, but let's say pizza one has about eight slices, right? Then slices pizza two is equal to let's say six and slices pizza three is equal to maybe 12 right now the next thing that we have to do now that we've assigned uh, values to these variables is assign values to students one students two and students three now how we're going to do this is we're going to divide um pizza one by the slices per student to find out how many students can actually have that, right? So we're going to say student one, students one is equal to slices pizza one divided by slices per slices per student. So this is going to give you the total number of students can, that can actually eat pizza one, right? Now, I'm going to do the same thing with students two and pizza two. I'm just going to copy paste this here. So this is going to tell us how many students can have pizza two. And this is based on the average number of slices that a student would usually eat, right? So if each student is going to eat three slices, how many of them, how many students can actually have the entire, uh, the entirety of pizza two? And we do the same for students three and pizza three, right? So now we know how many uh, students can eat each of the different pizzas, right? Now the next thing that we wanna do is, we've got, so we've got all our calculations now. What we wanna do is we actually wanna display this on the screen. So when it runs, it actually tells you that, you know, these many students can eat the pizzas, right? So the first line that we're gonna print is system.out.println. What we're going to print first is letting each student eat and then we're going to put a plus sign and we're going to say slices per student 
and we're gonna put another plus sign and say space slices. So what this does is it's basically gonna print letting each student eat, and then it's gonna print slices per student, which we've declared as three, and then it's gonna say um, space slices, right? So it's gonna say letting each student eat three slices, and then let's continue that and let's say student.out.print line. We can say students one plus students two plus students three. And then we're going to put a plus sign over here and we're going to say students can eat these three pizzas. All right, so what this basically does is that now students one is the number of students get, that can eat the first pizza. Students two is the number of students that can eat the second pizza. And students three is the number of students that can eat the third pizza. So when we add students one plus students two plus students three, it'll, it calculates the total number of students that can eat all three of those pizzas, right? So over here what we're saying is that these many students can eat these three pizzas, right? It's pretty simple and I hope you kind of understand it. I'm going to run the program so that you understand it a little bit better and then hopefully you kind of exactly understand what this project is doing. All right, so here if we look, it says letting each student eat three uh, slices, as we said, three slices, right? Eight students can eat these three pizzas. So why eight? Let's find out now. So students one over here, right? We have slices pizza one divided by slices per student. So slices pizza one is eight, and slices per student is about three, right? So here it's dividing eight by three. Now, one question that you actually might have is that eight, by eight is not actually divisible by three. So shouldn't this be a def decimal number, right? And then when you add def a decimal number with two other integers, it should give you um, a decimal number. So this should actually be a decimal number, right? Eight should actually be a decimal number. But actually, we have declared slices pizza one and sorry, we've declared in, uh, students one, students two, and students three all as integers. Why? Because this number of students cannot actually be a double or a float number. So even if slices pizza one divided by slices pizza uh, slices per student, even if that evaluates down to a decimal number, it will round it off so that you get an integer because we have declared this variable as an integer, which means that any decimal point or any double number cannot be stored in students one. It can only be an integer. So it'll, it'll round off the answer to this and it will give you um, the, uh, basically the answer then, right? So we first divide eight by three, which if you do that, it should give you about two. And then, so you get two from uh, students one, right? So students one, so two students can eat pizza one, right? And then two students can also have pizza two because six divided by three gives you two. And then the last one, pizza three, has 12 slices, which means that 12 divided by four, which would give you uh, sorry, 12 divided by 3, which would give you 4. So you have 4 plus 2 plus 2, which gives us 8. So that checks out, right? So it says 8 students, this total would give you 8 students, can eat these three pizzas, right? So this is just kind of how the basic project would look, right? Now, there would be another, I mean, there's an extension to this, and we could actually add on to this code, and I'll show you how to do so in just a minute. So the way we could add on is we could actually calculate the number of remaining slices that would basically be left over after all of these students eat the pizzas, right? Because I mean, eight is of course not divisible by three, which means that even if we say that two students can eat that, there would still be uh, certain uh, slices left. There would be about two slices remaining. So how do we do that? By using the remainder operator. So let me show you exactly how. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first create a variable that's called uh, slices left over, right? And then we're going to actually assign a value to this variable. So how we're going to do that is we're going to say slices left over 
is equal to, we're going to say slices pizza one. And over here, we're going to use the remainder operator. And we're going to say um, slices per student, right? So what this basically does is that it's technically doing the same thing as this is, except it's finding the remainder of this division, right? So obviously, 8 is not divisible by 3, right? So when you, after dividing 8 by 3, it will find you the remainder, which is 2, and it will calculate that and store it in that variable. Now, besides this, we also have to do slices pizza 2, and then remainder operator, and we're going to say slices per student. Right? And we have to do this for slices pizza 3 as well. Slices pizza 3, remainder operator, and we're going to say slices per student. Right. So basically what this is doing is it's calculating the remainder. So the basically the slices left over from each pizza and then it is storing that in the slices left over variable right here, right? And it's calculating the total of all three, so the total remaining pieces of all three pizzas, right? So it calculates the first one, then it adds it to the second and third. And that's exactly what this is doing. Now, what we are going to do, the last thing, is we're going to add a print statement that actually displays how many slices are going to be left over, essentially, right? So we're going to say there are, and we're going to say slices left over plus slices left over, right? So let's run this program now and you'll kind of understand what it is, right? So as you can see, it says letting each unit eat three slices, which we've discussed, and we've also discussed this, eight students can eat these three pizzas. The new line that's added over here, though, is there are two slices left over, right? So why two? Because eight divided by three, and the remainder of that gives you two. We've already established that. Then the second one, which is slices pizza two, and the remainder of that, when you divide it by slices per student, is 6 divided by 3, where there is no remainder because it is exactly divisible. Then the third pizza as well is 12 divided by 3, which is again, 12 is divisible by 3, which means that there's no remainder over there either. So this is basically 2 plus 0 plus 0, which gives us 2, and so the, pro uh, the program says there are two slices left over. All right, well, that's it. That's about it for this video. I just wanted to make this program and kind of discuss it with you, uh, kind of learn how to apply all of the commands that we've learned so far in an actual project. And so I hope you guys, I hope that you guys understood this. If you didn't, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And that's it for now. Thank you. Happy coding.